here we are with quarterback Nate Shillhouse here at Big Ten Media Days. This is, uh, how's it going so far? So far, so good. It's been an enjoyable experience. Uh, you know, feel honored to be here, uh, being a part of this for the first time. Um, it's a cool situation to be, you know, uh, around 35 other of the best players in this conference and, and at times in the country. So it's been a, a great honor so far. Uh, what's the question that you've heard the most? Some, 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 some Penn State. Um, you know, obviously, a lot of people ask questions about Penn State and everything that's going on there. Um, and, you know, everybody knew that coming into the media today that there would be a lot, um, you know, a lot just surrounding them and their program. Um, and, you know, you just got to have a lot of respect for their coaches and their players being here and, and dealing with all that, um, you know, because I know, you know their questions have to be a little more difficult than ours. Uh, so I won't ask you any questions about Penn State. Uh, all right, uh, new offense, man. Uh, no more pro style. We're getting a little bit uh, spread offense, spreading around. Uh, how does that fit Nathan Schillhouse? Uh, you know, it's an offense that, that should be exciting for all of us as players. Uh, it, gets the guy, it gets guys uh, who can make plays a ball in space, and, and that, that's what I think every playmaker loves, uh, to get a chance to beat people one-on-one. -on -one. Um, it will be a little more up-tempo than, than we have in previous years, and uh, at the end of the day, it's going to come down to execution. It's going to come down to, to making sure we're in the right place at the right time and that we're making the plays that are there to be made. So um, for everybody, that, that's, that should be the most important thing to them. Okay. Uh Talk a little bit about um, the, the the culture that uh, that that Coach Beckman is trying to install with competition. Yeah, competition is something that's big with Coach Beckman. Um, you know, whether it's uh, GPA from offense to defense uh, to you know, spring practice uh, to a you know a strength program in, in the summertime. Um, there's always going to be competition that's, that's surrounding everything that we do, and you know he's teaching us that. Uh, we have to be used to competition. That, it can't be something that um, you know throws us off once we face it during the season because every team in the Big Ten is competing for a championship, and at the end of the day, that, that's our goal, and, and that's what we're striving for. And um, you know, it's the little competitions that that create um, you know just that culture and that uh, atmosphere that gets you to compete at your best. Uh, speaking of competition, you got some uh, skill positions that are sort of up and open uh, as far as the roster spot, first string, yada, yada, yada. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, some guys that might surprise us here next year. You know, I think there's a lot of excitement surrounding um, you know, the players uh, you know, that, that are on our offense. Uh, you get a guy like Darius Malines that, you know, kind of got off to a fast start last year and dealt with some injuries, and um, he's feeling healthy, excited for this season, um, excited for what's to come. Um, you got two guys in the backfield, Donovan Young and, and Josh Ferguson, that um, you know are as talented as any running back in the Big Ten, um, and they're really excited just about that chance to to get to show people. Um, and then you know you look at our tight end group, which is a, a huge group. Um, you get John Davis, who's who's moving around, uh, playing not only tight end but playing more in the backfield, more out in the slot, um, and it makes things easier on on me as a quarterback when you have. You know, a bunch of talented guys surrounding you. Um, you know, it makes you feel a whole lot more comfortable back there. Uh, offensively, you're gonna be toting the rock a little bit, as much as we were last year, or a little bit more, or what do you see? Yeah, I expect to be running the ball. Obviously, our coaches do a good job of, of using what each player does best, and I think our coaches know I, um, you know, I'm able to use my legs pretty well, um, and so they're gonna give me the chance to do that. Um, but obviously. Uh, there's, there's going to be a certain requirement from running the ball, a certain requirement from passing the ball, and at the end of the day, I just got to execute whatever is being called, and, and that's what's most important um, for each of our players, whether they're called to block, uh, to throw, uh, to catch a pass, um, that they do it to the best of their abilities. You going to stay grounded this year, or are you going to get diving uh, for uh, end zones or first downs here? You know, I'll probably still uh, you know play with that same reckless abandon that um, – you know, people have come accustomed to watching. Uh, it's something that I guess is just in my blood. That's the way I play, the way I'm used to playing. And, um, you know, it's something that you know, I don't as much worry about you know, how I'm feeling at the end of the game, but it's just about the result. Miles is going to be back in the backfield with you. Uh, the rumor is that he's going to be in the backfield with you uh, on a couple of plays or formations or whatever. And I talk about about that relationship there. Yeah, you know, Miles is a... A guy that has done a whole lot for us, um, you know, from the offensive side of the ball. Um, you know, he's so versatile in ways able to do. Obviously, his quarterback skills are, are you know, awesome. And he's got you know a lot of talent at quarterback, uh, but he's a great athlete as well. He's able to catch the ball. Um, he's able to run the ball. So yeah, you'll see Miles in a lot of different different spots. Uh, he's wearing different number number eight, so they might think it's a whole new person out there. Okay. 
uh, as, a, as a quarterback from the uh, offensive side, what have you seen from your defense? Yeah, our defense is um, one of the most difficult to play against in the country. Obviously playing last year and, and how well they did, uh, there's no doubt uh, with the guys that they returned that they are a force to be reckoned with. Um, you know, from the outside, you got you know two corners, Terry Hawthorne and Justin Green, um, who are as strong a, as any corners in the country. Um, and then the front seven is um, definitely one of the most difficult to play against. Um, they've got guys that are not only smart, um, you know, play hard, play physical every single play, and um, you know they, they know what they're doing. So it, it's been, always, it's always been tough playing against them, and we look forward to getting better in camp. Just, just because we do have to go against the defense that tough. All right, Nate. See you in camp. Yep. See you guys.